here is a nice illustration from Wikipedia by Patrick and Carl. This is the normal conduction system of the heart. You have the sinoatrial node here, atrioventricular node here, and the internodal pathways are shown here. And a bundle of is dividing into the left bundle branch, which also subdivides further into two fascicles and right bundle. The activation is shown as a purple staining occurs on both sides together in a normal conduction system of the heart. On this side they have depicted the block here right bundle branch is blocked and there is no conduction directly going through the right bundle branch. The conduction reaches the left ventricle first and then it gradually through the myocardium moves on to the right ventricle. Well illustrated diagram. Here is another simpler illustration showing the sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, bundle branches and depiction of the right bundle branch block here. Another feature in this is that you have the backman's bundle shown here that is conduction bundle going to the left atrium known as backman's bundle. Now you know that there are new technologies for backman's bundle pacing so that there will be better synchrony between the two atria. This is a diagrammatic representation of ECG in V1 and V6 illustrating the features of right bundle branch block. There is an initial small R wave, then there is an S wave and this is the hallmark terminal slurred R prime. It is usually named as not just R, R prime. The small R is for a wave less than 5 millimeter. S is if the wave is uh, 5 millimeter or more. Here it is shown as lesser and R capital R again for a taller wave and this is usually named as R prime. This terminal R is due to delayed activation of the right ventricle and in V6 the corresponding features are a small initial Q wave tall R which is usually seen in V6 that is left ventricular force. This is due to right ventricular delayed activation a very